week. Hello world and once again welcome to Prima Tetio TV. Wow. Today I have my brother, my own brother here, Nase. This man is one of the most respectable men here. He's a once coach to the under 17 Ghana Black Stars. He's been a coach in Tanzania. He's been a coach in Uganda and the list goes on and on and on. Today I've got the privilege and he's given me his time to do a slight interview here on Nana Frima TV. Nase, it's a pleasure. And once again, thank you for having Nana Frima TV. Nice seeing you again, sis. Yes, nice seeing you yes. Again. For starters, I want you to tell the world who you are first. Your name, I know I just said Nase, but I think the world wants to know, you know, your full name yeah, and, um, uh, uh, and where you're from. Please take it on from there. Okay, as you said, um, my full name is Derek Osei Ousu. Uh, everyone calls me Nase. I'm a fitness coach. Uh, I've lived in England a greater part of my life, but I've moved to Ghana, um, brought in a fit and fine gym because when I was coming, I was thinking of something to do for my people as well. Uh, and something that I'm very, very passionate about. The reason behind this is not even about money, to be honest with you, it's about me finding out that in Ghana, fitness was more or less like something for the rich. Right. So I thought, why don't I do something and make it more affordable? Then definitely everyone can um, afford to get some sort of fitness as well. So um, that's it really for everyone. Wow, that's amazing. So with fitness, is it because what, what background do you hold in, in fitness? Is it something that you just went to school for or, or it's just a passion and you, you began doing, you know, um, exercise and, you know and you just turned into um, passion? That's actually a good question, to be honest with you. Um, since my infancy, I've always been involved in fitness one way or the other, because right from primary school, I used to run for my school. Um, JHS, I used to play and run. SSS, where we, go to, we went to, I used to run and play for, for uh, my team as well. Then I got a chance to go to England. And when I went to England, I joined the army. And you, everyone knows the military is more about fitness and stuff right. like that. Mm -hmm. So um, me going into coaching is quite funny because, uh, you know, in the military, we have our top ranking people. Yes. And I, anytime we go to the gym, I see people who are the same rank as me, literally ordering these top ranking people around. Yeah. Like, telling them what to do. And in the military, you dare not tell these people what to do. Right. But when we go to the gym, like obviously my colleagues who are the same rank as me, who are PTIs in the military, they are called physical training instructors, uh -huh. bossing these people around. Then I thought, oh wow, I want to do the same thing because I want to be punishing these people. Right. So my mentality of going into fitness was the fact that I'll get a chance to punish the same people. Uh -huh. But I got into fitness and I realized that what I was thinking is not even what it is. It's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different thing that we are supposed to do. So that's actually how I got into fitness. Then I learned the ethics of the game. Then I got to do a lot of courses and I realized that, listen, that mentality of me trying to think I'm punishing people, I'll get a chance of punishing right. people, that's not what it is. <laughs> so that's how I actually got into fitness. Yeah. Right, yeah. I see. So take us from where you were once a coach for for the Ghana, is it, is it the Ghana? And then, like, Ghana 17, yeah, yeah. Okay. As, a, as a fitness coach, yeah. Right, so yeah. as a fit, take me from there and then to now. Okay, um, yes, I came to Ghana. Um, so at around the same time that I was thinking of doing fitness, I had to put myself together, I mean, by opening a gym. So when the cash flow wasn't really ready for me to do that, there was a coach called Paco Sifabin. Um, he was a coach for the Ghana 17, who, who knows me quite well because I used to talk to him about fitness and that. And they had just returned from uh, African Cup of Nations, mm -hmm. which Ghana played, and apparently Ghanaians were bullied by the Malians. Oh. So I got in touch with him that I'm in Ghana, and um, when we have the chance, we will talk. And he said, you know, are you in Ghana? Come, let's talk, because we just finished a tournament, mm -hmm. and my boys were not fit at all. Right. So we sat down, we talked, I told him what we can do by watching some of the clips mm -hmm. and right from get-go, I joined him in come for us to get the boys ready right. for proud to Indian World Cup in 2017. Okay. So obviously I was part of the team that prepared the boys for India, where, which was good. Right from India, then Kotoko approached me. I went to Kotoko, Asante Kotoko in Kumasi. Uh -huh. So I worked with Kotoko for a little bit, for one year. Uh -huh. Right after Kotoko, then I went to Uganda. 
to work for the Uganda under 20 and the under 17 team. Wow. Then I did Tanzania. Uh -huh. You know, so when I came back from Ghana, out to Ghana, yeah. that was when I was starting to get into my fitness thing with the gym and all that. Okay. Then I got a team called Legon Cities. Which cities? Leg Legon Cities. Okay. You know, so I joined Legon Cities, but whilst I was with Legon Cities, that's when I was doing the gym as well. Okay. You know, so um, that's how my background of fitness have been. It's been one step after the other, one step after the other. Okay. Before um, Fit and Fine Gym was literally uh born and, and that's it really wow so what what are some of the challenges that you know whilst you were setting up fit and fine what what are some of the challenges that you encounter because i mean being a Ghanaian based in uk and then coming down here to do you know something like this i'm sure there are some challenges or or maybe perhaps there aren't loads of challenges uh, i mean <laughs> uh, you know how our country is um, yeah. we love this country but at the same time, there, there's always loads of challenges. I mean, um, where I've come from, if you want something to be done now, it'll be done now. But whereas in Ghana, people literally drag their feet. Someone will tell you, I can get something done for you in an hour. You have to give them three days, literally. You know what I mean? Someone will, <laughs> from an hour to three exactly. days. Exactly. <laughs> someone will tell you, you know what, I'm coming, and they are nowhere to be found, or they have not even left their house yet. So these are all, because obviously, per what I knew, I was gonna put up this place in about six months, but it ended up taking me about a year and a half. Oh, wow. Do you know what I mean? Because, I mean, um, you want something done today, it, should, it will be done in three days' time. Right. So all these things were challenges. Um, at the same time, when it comes to machinery, where, where equipment and that, obviously these are not making, made in Ghana. I see that. So, I was going to question you some of these Exactly, exactly. So, I haven't even seen them myself. Exactly. You know, yeah. You know, so bringing them here, uh, the amount of duty you pay on them and all that. These were some challenges as well. So right. um, it, it was quite challenging, but the most important thing is at least I was able to pull through. Right. That's the most important thing. Wow. Yes. Wow. yes. So let's take, take me back to, to, um, to fitness. So because you and I know that, you know, growing up, you know, women, we were not, we were not as fit or not yep. into, yep. you know, these fitnesses or exercises as you, we would so choose to call them. So let's see if, let's say, for instance, if a woman is pregnant, would you advise that a woman that's yes, 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 yes. We have pregnancy fitness. There are so many things a woman um, can do when they are pregnant. And obviously that will give them that strength and um, it will prepare them for that day where they will deliver. So yes, we have, we have you see, fitness cuts across in all walks of life. Even when someone is disabled, there's still some sort of fitness that you can do for them. So there's pregnancy fitness, there is disabled fitness, even people with stroke, with all that. There are so many things that involve in fitness that we can do for people. And as you said, I think one thing that's beautiful about Ghana at the moment is big, people are beginning to understand fitness. People are beginning to understand that fitness is the way to go because literally I always tell people that it's either you make fitness your food or your medicine become your food in future. That's true. Do you understand? Yeah. So uh, we, are, we are in an era where people are beginning to understand that fitness is quite important and that's exactly what they are doing at the moment. Right. You know? So um, be, I mean, as you came here, about 90% of my clients here are women. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. women are beginning to understand it's the same as men and all that. So that time of even men just thinking about only macho men that go to mm -hmm. the gym is over. Everyone wants to have some sort of fitness, whether they even, whether it's looks or whatever it is. Right. The most important thing is being healthy. Okay, you know what I mean? that's, yes. that's true. So I have a, a funny question for you. So you, you know, nowadays with liposuction and butt enhancement, you know, sometimes when women, when, when, when we give birth, we go through changes. Exactly, exactly. You know, our middle section becomes a bit thicker than exactly. we expected, you know, so, but then there are, but enhancements, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there are liposuctions mm -hmm. that, you know, women are putting themselves through it. Is there such thing as exercising and whereby you don't need a liposuction or oh, yes. you don't need a, a, a butt so enhancement? We, we, I mean, we can go back into things. There are so many results people have achieved by just going to the gym. There are people have gone through serious weight, weight loss programs that I can show you even in this gym, right. we have numbers of people who came in different sizes, plus size and all that now. They are looking good, they are toned up and all that. One of my biggest problem with this lipo thing, I'm not, I'm not here to preach against anyone's job, right. but what it is is that as human as we are, now we are, be, we are beginning to become lazy. 
and we are always trying to cut corners. So something that maybe someone would have come to the gym and taken time to go through and still make them healthy after even achieving their body goals, people want to cut corners because they think if I can get that in three months or in six months, why don't I go and lie down for just a day for them to do this for me? So it's not just even a matter of the gym or fitness not achieving what your body goals are, but it's a matter of people trying to cut corners and people trying to just get what they want today instead of later because with fitness, apart from even your looks, it's you're healthy. Right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the whole thing. Do you understand? Thing. So right. regardless, even like, you can go through all these lipo stuff and all that. If you come back and come in eat rubbish, you're still going to go back. Right. You know what I mean? So these are some of the things that um, happens. Yeah. Okay. So you have one particular machine that I've been eyeing at and I, I can't get my eyes off of it. I've never seen it okay. anywhere in this world in my life. So I, I see that when the women, mostly it's the women that came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. And I would love to come in and stand on this. The, the next time I come in here with sneakers. Okay. I see that, you know, the button is just oh, going yeah, up yeah, and down. So what is it? The vibration machine. Uh, what it, it's, it's, it's called the what, a vibration, vibration machine. machine. Okay. What it does, does is it helps you with circulation, blood circulation oh. you know that's why most of the women that you saw them going on there they take their shoes off and they stand on it so it vibrates it's it, it's more or less like you walking in gravels you know it's good for your body because you get a lot of blood circulation nice. going through right from your legs to your brains and all that so although they are standing on it what all you were looking at was people's bum oh, shaking was, was but obviously what was happening there was more than just butt shaking I see. exactly so yeah that's a vibration so that machine yeah just, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I, that is so nice. That's that's wonderful. So when someone walks into your your gym and then they become a member, what is the um, what is the the Because I see that when I came in here, I also saw that there are personal trainers. Yes, you yes, know yes, that yes. they so give us the in, introduction. Yeah. So what we've done what we've done here, um, as I said, uh, the gym was solely based on customer service, making sure it's affordable. Everyone that comes here is treated rightly and all that. But as soon as anyone walks through our doors, they are entitled to a personal trainer. So we are literally the only gym in Ghana that does not charge anything for personal training. We don't charge anything Nothing. for, for personal Anyone that comes training. here is being ad attended to. Why unless, because you see, um, I personally think that everyone needs help one way or the other. You're going to have no more gym goers. You're going to have newbies. You're going to have people who have been going to gym for a while. Most people that have been going to gym for a while, they don't need help. When they come to the gym, they know what to do already. And it's even, even with here, what we've done here is we, what we tell our trainers that, listen, any client that we have, by three months to five months time, they need to be able to do everything that they don't even need you again. Right. So that we can always concentrate on newcomers. New ones that are you know what I mean? Right. Because it definitely as we train you day in, day out, you get used to some of the training and we tell you what to do and what they are for as well. So let's say give it giddy giddy like literally six months time, you know everything that goes on here. Right. So in that way, anytime you come, I mean, as you've seen, there are some women that's training here. They don't even need us. Right. Why? Because they've been part of us for a very long right. time. At the same time, there are other ones that we are attending to because they are new ones and we have to encourage them at the same time, train them as well. Right. So anyone that comes here, unless the person needs spe a special need, i.e. maybe someone have come in here, they are pregnant. Someone have come in here, they are a stroke patient. They are so such, such issues, they need proper, proper, proper attention. So, so when you come in here, that one come with another small fee because when you come in here, we can't even take our eyes off you. Right. We have to make sure, like, if you are with this trainer, you are going to be with that trainer throughout your time being here. Right. Whereas other people, when they come here, let's say I can, I can even train 10 people at the same time. Whether, why I'll give you something to do. I give this person another thing to do. I give that person to do. As soon as you finish, you shout me. I come. So literally, I can train plenty. But at the same time, when someone is a bit disabled or they can't help themselves, mm -hmm. I can't do that. I have to make sure you have to concentrate. Location. Exactly. So those are the things that come with a fee. But a normal person, as soon as we walk in here, we attend to you, we train you, our classes are free, and we make sure free. free. As soon as well, once you remember, thing. yeah, because when most people, all of us, our biggest problems are apps. So here, sure. after all our classes, we have 45 minutes of something we call apps blackboard. So after aerobic class, you do apps. After hit, you do apps. After step board, you do apps. Every class that we do here, we make sure we end up 
with the apps class. Right. So that, I mean, you get that. And that's one thing people love about here because we are a results-based gym. We make sure we get the results. Mm -hmm. We are not doing advert anywhere. So what we do is once you, Frema, is getting results, mm -hmm. when you go out there and your friends say, hey, Frema, you're looking nice. Or what gym do you go to? That alone is a good, it's an advert for us. So we make sure anyone that comes here, whatever body goals that they want, that they came here, they achieve it and they are good. Yes, 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 yes. That's amazing. So I, I personally, I feel like this gym needs to grow more Definitely. outside. I mean, Definitely. in Ghana, on, in all these areas, do you have any future plans yes. of it, you know, growing, you know, in, in Ghana? Um, honestly, my vision is to have fit and fine all over Ghana my vision it's needed. i would love to yeah. have 10 gyms in 10 years wow you know what i mean wow. if i have the capacity to open one gym every year wow. why not right. so um where i'm thinking now is hopefully next year uh, i'll have a branch in kumasi i would have even done it this year but to be honest with you uh, we've had a lot of growth in accra, in accra. so uh I, i'll have to find a way to ex expand here first before i can start thinking I think elsewhere. Kumasi people, they might probably need some type of encouragement. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. What we do, um, um, I mean, um, same thing we've done here. I mean, it's, it's all about starting well and uh, encouraging people right from get-go. Once there is some sort of uh, 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 rules and regulations about a gym, anyone that comes follows. And that's what we've done here. It's, we are not really a fancy gym that you see people just come in here and take videos and go home. Nope. Here, when you come here, cameras down everything work, when work, we work. finish yeah. you can do whatever you want to do right. nine out of ten when they finish they can't even take their phones because they are tired they want to go home right. and these are the things that give us good results as well so yes we will do kumasi uh we will do elsewhere as well when that time comes but my vision and my mission is to make sure i spread fitness at everyone's doorstep that's wonderful. one thing i want to do wonderful so where, where can we find you um, on social media? Do you have any social yes, media? Yes, yes, yes. Um, if we go on uh, Fit and Fine Gym Ghana on Facebook, Fit and Fine Gym Ghana on Instagram, Fit and Fine Gym Ghana on um, uh, Twitter, Twitter and all that as well. You know what I mean? So that's what uh, we do. One thing we haven't gone on is TikTok, but very soon, I think we have to put some of our training program on TikTok as well so people can just watch it and you use it to train as well, yeah. so. I think one last question. Some time ago, I, I saw Asamoah Jan in your gym. Yes, yes, Right yes, here, yes. so is, are you his personal trainer? Yes, uh, I've, I've met fitness coach for Asamoah Jan. I've okay. been training him for a while. Uh, he's actually become a brother and um, he is part of us. He, it's unfortunate that today you are here. Right. And, um, he's not here, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's been part of us, he's been great. Um, um, Anytime he, he has any need of weight loss, anything to do with fitness, this is he's the, with, place, this is the place. Or sometimes he'll call me if I have to travel with him. I travel and I have a lot of uh, uh, blaster players that train with me. But uh, you know, my job, uh, you become more or less like a doctor as well. It's not everything that you can say because you become yeah. other people's secret weapon. She understand? So yeah. um, if you haven't mentioned my brother, I will not even mention him because, but since you've seen him around. I have definitely. seen him around. Exactly, 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 yeah. exactly, exactly. So. Wow. If someone wants to find fit and fine, where exactly are you located? Oh, we are on the main uh, Christian village to Domipi Latu Road, uh, at Cable Junction. We are right opposite a restaurant called Beckish Restaurant. Okay. If you can't find us, just go on your Google Maps, put in fit and fine Jim Ghana. You can't It'll bring you straight it. to here. Here you go. I'll be coming here most often. I didn't have my sneakers here, but next time I come. Yeah, next time. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you yes, for yes. speaking with me and watching Nana Prima TV. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know the drill. Go ahead and subscribe below. Toodles.